going to focus, I told you, is chapter 6, compound interest. This one you should score 20 marks. Okay? So here, under compound interest, actually there are two formulas. Two formulas in your module. Uh, you can find any reference books, there are two formulas. But if you don't memorize two formulas, just memorize one formula in now. Mm. And then, so there is S equals to P bracket 1 plus R over K power and K. Where S is the accumulated amount. Accumulated means the principal plus the interest. Then you jump over, you get S. Then P is the principal sum. R is the interest rate. So interest rate normally given percentage, you must divide by Then K is what? Number of times compounded a year. So if the question says compound quarterly, that means K is 4. four. Semi-annual, K equals to monthly. Remember, so this one always the that. And the N represents the number of years. <coughs> okay, let's look at example 6. But this one you should score 20 marks. Huh? You don't make mistake here. 20 marks. Okay, yeah, so example 6. If 2000 ringgit is invested at 8% per annum compounded quarterly, how much is the accumulated amount after 5 years? So what you do is, you write down what are, what are the things given first. For example, you are given P equals to 2000. Okay, already know. Principal is 2000. The interest rate 8% per annum, that means 8%, you divide by 100, you get 0 0.08. Correct? Correct. And K equals to 4. Why 4? Okay. Because compounded quarterly. Understand? And then uh, how much is the equivalent after 5 years? That means N equals to 5. So you need to remember one formula now. So what you do is to substitute whatever given. For example, P substitute with 2000. Okay? And then 1 plus R, R is 0 0.08. K equals to 4, so divided by 4. Then bracket, the power NK. N is 4, uh, sorry, NK, N is 5. K is 4, so 5 times 4 actually. 4 times 5. Huh? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do when you you go to second step? What do you do next step? What must you do first? Remember during our workshop in the very beginning we have board must D O D M A S. That means you start with whatever in the bracket. This bracket, right? So bracket first. This outside or don't touch. Just do whatever inside bracket. So inside bracket 0 0.08 divided by four first. You must do division. Then only do plus. So this one you will get 0 0.02, then plus 1 you get 1.02. Then the power here 4 times 5 you get 20. Is it not? So again, once you reach this step, what must you do? So you do whatever inside the bracket first. Again, 1.02 bracket, 20. power 20. So you use your calculator and check 1.02 to the power 20. Right? 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 Okay. We don't know better us now eh? how to get 1.02 to the power 20. There's an arrow, is it? Up arrow means power. Look at here, you have to use exponential. So, so you take your calculator, you punch in 1.02, <laughs> then arrow power 20, then straight away, it's still the memory, eh? You times it. 2000. So you should get 2971.89 uh, something. Banyak lagi kan? Tapi since this one dealing with ringgit, then you only need what? Two decimal places to go. Ringgit the same aja. Dua titik pun pula kan? Did you get this answer? Right? So 2971.89. So this is our question. There are three parts of it. Three part each question, six months or seven months. Okay? Okay. Sir, what is that? What is that? What is that? Yes, actually, correct. You're right. Actually, once we have finished like that, 
Uh. What you do is you can put kesimpulan. Uh, Conclusion is say tadi ditanya apa how much is accumulated eh? So at the bottom you put one more center hands hands up H E N C E hands means the last part two or only part two uh, the accumulated amount is R M two thousand and two comma nine seven one point eight. That is the proper way of writing. But I don't have space, so I skip that part. In the exam, you please put the conclusion. <coughs> because in the exam, when the examiner mark with your paper, the examiner normally will start from the bottom. Though. They break, sir, they take what they call what? They will look at the last answer. They see these two nice and all. Betul, betul? All these will be going just mark only. No need to check one by one. But if your last answer is wrong, then they will start checking from the top. That every step kalau betul give you more. 